This is James Helder for IFL TV. I'm in Belfast today for the Frampton weigh-in. With me I've got Jamie Conlan, ahead of his WBL European title challenge. How are you doing Jamie, alright? Great, great. May I say it's good to meet you, first and foremost? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's, it's good that you're here in Belfast. Yeah, indeed. What a, what a weigh-in that was. The public response for the boxing today is fantastic, isn't it? See, for you for you to come over, you think this is a uh, bit weird and this is huge, but this is what we're used to. Belfast loves boxing, and especially when cards fitting, it's it's jam-packed, the whole room is filled here. I came to a small hall card here in Belfast last year and the ferociousness and the intensity of the crowd there would rival some of our big shows today. Like the Irish Fate of the Year or something, wasn't it, Robert? It's it was. The Cruiserweights, oh, it was, it was brilliant, a brilliant. Brilliant fight. Brilliant. Uh, Stephen Reynolds versus Declan Trainer, fantastic war. Great, it? great. Let's talk a little bit about your fight, how much do you know about the opponent? Not too much, I didn't really watch much about him. His name wins two losses and a draw and just got to get in there. I never watch any opponent anyway. I always, always think it's what I do on the night that matters. If, if, if I perform, I, I shouldn't lose. So, But John Breen and my father and my brother, they, they checked them up and told me we things to do when we're in sparring and when we're training and we worked on. So I worked on everything and I was ready for a come forward fader, aggressive or negative fader is going to move and try and survive. But I'm ready, for, ready to come and take this title. John Breen, whose reputation precedes him, having produced so many great fighters in the past. Do you think you're part of this next crop, this next generation to take over things? Hopefully myself and Mark McCulloch are, are, are his new stars in the gym and we want to perform for him, we want to bring titles back for him because, as you're saying, he has such a record and such a reputation and he's, he's been lagging in the few, past few years but now we're going to bring the gym back to where it belongs. Someone told me that you make a big deal of your entrances, you're either putting on sombreros, a kind of Mexican theme thing. Have you got anything planned for tomorrow night? Well, the, the sombreros will be back out tomorrow and the, hair, the, the red hairband and the lads in the crowd will have their sombreros. It's similar to Miguel Gomez back in the days. Yeah, yeah. The Manchester Mexican and the Belfast Mexican. So it's nice, it's just a new gimmick for the, for the lads. They all love the sombreros and it gives them something to drink with. It's fantastic, isn't it? It kind of gives you a little, a little thing for your fans to get behind and a little gimmick, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good crack and they seem to enjoy it more than I enjoy it. They, they're ringing me and texting me about some burrows and they're getting the some burrows and sending me pictures of it. And it's, it's building and building and building, so it's good. It's good to see. Massive, massive uh, opportunity for Frampton. Final eliminator to get a shot of Leo Santa Cruz. How do you see it playing out tomorrow night? I think he's just too big, too strong, and the guy's too old. And I think Frampton will go through him in five rounds, and the fight with Santa Cruz will be electric. That's going to be some fight. I even still think Frampton can beat Santa Cruz, even though Santa Cruz is, is world class. He's great to watch, and, but the way Carl is, is fight at the minute, he's just going onwards and upwards, and he'll do your matter the business tomorrow night, and hopefully a world title back in Belfast would be amazing. You see him doing a job on Cazares tomorrow night? A big time. I, I don't even see it being a race. I just I see him just teaching Tuzares his things he's never learned, even though he is a wild veteran. Frampton has something special. Have you fought with the Odyssey before? Yeah, last fight was at the Od last few fights have been at the Odyssey. So yeah, it's excuse me, I couldn't get over to the yeah. last fight. I had something else on. But. I have beat Mike Rams in, in in the Odyssey on their card versus Kiko Martinez, yeah. and then Card's last fight I was on the on the on the card is that and the one the first round knockout. So it's. I made my debut here as well on Rogan vs Saxon, so it's it's coming becoming something of a second home to me and there's no no better place. Well some of the small hall places in yeah, everyone enjoys now the small hall. They're similar to York Hall here, it's called the Ulster Hall. And it's if you ever watch Martin Lindsay vs Paul Appleby, it's 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 a, it's a wee cauldron. But the Odyssey is like a inferno, it's it's nine thousand people and this just makes a hair stand on the back of your neck and even the last week it just didn't feel like a boxing crowd. It felt like he's crossed kind of the divide from boxing in Belfast. They're just the public, and it's great because all the lads in the card are getting that. Also, we're getting into the public as well as just not boxing people. We're getting into the public people. Very you get people in in the street coming up there who don't know much about boxing, but know that you're on the bill. Know about you boxing just because you're on these kind of big bills. Whereas the small hall bills, you get the the more boxing heads. Who, who know their boxing, who come to all the boxing. This is this is a, a public gathering, kind of, and it, it's it's good. It's it's good for your profile as a boxer. It's good. Now I have same with Barry McGuinn, uh, Cyclone Promotions, that we're getting our our pro profile built up, and 
he said myself and Mark will tap, be tapping our own bills next. That must be a nice feeling for yourself. Oh, knowing great, that man. Great. Seeing Frampton's success and, and the route that he's going, that you can't be that far behind it if you keep getting the wins. Well, especially with the, the same team that is, is helping me now. It's Bahamian and I've got that support with me and someone to rely on, Kena, and they're going to be looking at the small hole we're building up as well myself. So it, it's good. It's, it's nice to get recognised, and you're getting better and better. Uh, all with the Nes bit of preparation every fight, a tougher fight after this one will be even better. How much contact does yourself and John Breen have with Barry McGuigan from a day-to-day basis? Does he pop in the gym and stuff? What? It's mainly Shane and Blaine who, who's running the cycling promotions, and they would text and call and pop into the gym and they would do everything. Yeah, they're, we've only recently seen two, and uh, and they've got the exact same ambition and exact same drive as what myself and John have. They don't want me to fight people I'm going to knock over. If they want every fight to be a bit harder than the last one, to progress, to learn a bit, you have to learn from every fight. And they want to build me on the titles pretty quick, which they have did straight away, first fight with them. They've got me a WBO European title, which you can't, you can't thank them for. Listen, I'm not excited you are. I'm going to let you go and refuel. Yep. You're one of the very few people that stopped to talk to me today that wasn't uh, in a starving mood. Starving I'm not, I'm not more I'm not too bad. I've right. uh, seen a few, few grumpy people, dirty breath and all that, and <laughs> <laughs> you just knew uh, someone had a hard night's sleep. <laughs> you of the guys today weren't in the mood for talking. Let's no, say, let's, no. The less we say about that. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Well, listen, thanks for stopping and giving no me problem, time. No problem, James. I look forward to seeing you in action tomorrow night for the first yeah. time. And good luck, hope you come out safe and enjoy it, you know? Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you this is James Holder with Jamie Collin for IFL TV. Thank you very much. Good morning, James.